What's up everybody, my name is The Shig, and welcome back to Papo and Yo. This is a game I played about a month ago and was planning to play it some more, but I never got round to it, I just sort of forgot about the game. But we done some shit as a little kid, and we're supposed to have like a monster friend, but we never got to see the monster in the part that I did see, so hopefully we get to see him today and see what this game actually has to offer. This is where we go from. You shouldn't disappear like that. Good thing I found you. We have to go back to Monster. Yeah, yeah, this is this is pretty much where we left off. I was dropped into this place, and then we're gonna go back to Monster. We're finally gonna meet my monster friend and what he is like. So that should be fun. I can't enter no doors or nothing. But basically, like in the last one, we just ran around a place like this, and we done some magical shit as we were chasing after some weird-ass bitch. Do I need to get out there, robot -y friend? I, I, oh, the stairs. I was gonna say, I've tried, but I cannot. Um, oh, I can jump. Yeah! Alright, stick close to your tail, man. Why have I got, like, a toy robot leading me the way? Am I, like, some sort of rich kid living in the slums who's just got everything he could ever dream up? Like a little companion-y, robot -y friend. Is that your box you came in? What? I didn't even realize your name, and I can help. Alright, you're gonna help me glide across the back. Awesome. I, I got it. I got it. I understand what you're trying to... I don't understand at all. Are you going to be a thruster or a double jump? Alright, we did it. Whatever the case, it doesn't matter because we managed to get across. I imagine this could only get more intense as the game moves on, considering there's a ladder to get back up to these things. That there may be gaps that we just go through. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nothing there to catch us. If you point me to the switch, I can open it. Alright. That switch on the wall there, I presume. Can you do that? There, yep. I'm pointing. Do it. Are you always gonna be on my back now? Because I can dig that. It's kind of like a whole ratchet and clank thing. Except, I'm not no Lombax or whatever the hell he was. It Was he a Lombax? Or a... Yeah, it's, it's not the Lorax because that is Dr. Zeus. The Lombax is what ratchet is, I believe. But enough about ratchet and clank. This is obviously about Papo and Yo. I don't know who's who or what they even are or nothing. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, we kind of have, we floated for a little bit. Maybe, just maybe, we can turn one of these off. I thought I already turned. Oh, it switches them. I see. It doesn't turn them off and on, it just did something. Oh, right, now I understand. We've done something like this before. So we turn this thing and it moves the houses. I'm pretty sure we've been here before, actually. Yeah, we have, because that's the way I used to get across. Haha, <laughs> that's you can't have my bag, you're just gonna have to keep floating. You know it's possible- oh, that chick's back! Can we go speak to her? Hey, girl, this is the chick that we'd be chasing the whole of last episode. And now we don't even acknowledge her presence. Awesome. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! Can I control this? That is what I want to know now. Try get out of the way, motherfuckers. I am riding through on my new house. House spider. I, I, I don't even know. But we got it. It's cool. Look at the fucking size of it. Now if I can just train it to walk up this little step here, we would never have to leave it. And that would be magnificent. I mean, as if this place wasn't crazy enough with the architectural. They have fucking houses that come alive. Amazing. Alright, thank you very much. I'm gonna be going now, I guess. I sent him up to a switch, so... Oh, he turned- he broke the pipe. Now we're gonna flood the whole place. Maybe this is a sewer, a sewer pipe? Where are we even heading? This is the way back to the fucking monster? How the hell did I get here in the first place? Oh, alright, you do that. I'm gonna get inside the pipe. Hold on. Alright, do it. Yeah! Alright! This is a good job you can just, like, sort of fade through walls and stuff, as we would've been separated? Oh my goodness. Are we someone new? We are. Oh, fabulous. A little, 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 little tunnel. Hmm. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? Now we just need to push this clock into place. No, we... Yes? Yes, we do. I thought we had to make me go get a new one. What the hell? Oh, gushing out water. Of course, we added something new to the pipe. I think we can go back the other way now, man. Look at us figuring stuff out like we're a puzzle playing platform and motherfucker or some shit. Down here. Awesome. Right, we got rid of the water. Excellent. <laughs> now what? We're just gonna run for the sewers? What happened to my shoe? 
This is a question I probably should have brought up at the beginning of the episode, but we had two shoes in the last episode, and as soon as we got dropped in that place where we met the robot, we lost the shoe. So I don't know what's going on there. But surely it can't be too pleasant running through the sewers with your bare foot. Oh, is that gonna swing? Oh, we have to get back in it to go up top. Okay. Doola! Go do the thing now! Alright, now to keep it. Oh! Where did this come from? Why is there now a cage in front of me? How is that magic working? I guess I shouldn't really question it. We literally read a house about two minutes ago. So we won't get into how stuff's been going on and how that be happening. But these pipes don't make much sense. Didn't I exit through this way or something? What the hell is going on? We too big for this pipe? I think we're too heavy, man. We may be making a crack. Oh, the monster! Oh, we might actually get to see him this episode. Amazing. He's, a, he's above us. Can we call his name? Maybe he'll come get us out? Are we even friends with this monster? I mean, we seem to be keeping our distance, keeping quiet and everything. You don't really seem to be making an acquaintance with the monster. I wish you could run though. So like, oh, there we go, there we go. Let's get this clock a turn and stuff. Yes! Yes, are we gonna beat the monster? Yes, there he is! Him in his full glory, man. Look how glorious. <laughs> he kinda reminds me of, um, Sally from Monsters Inc., but that's probably just because he's big and bulky. It's not like he's got, like, blue fur or nothing. I mean, I could probably edit some on. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Where'd he go? Man, he's a freaking ninja monster. Did he go down here? It's obviously, this is probably where he went, unless he's attached to the ceiling, which he is not. So he probably went down here. So how about you pull out your muscles and actually open up the security? Is it called a security hatch? Trap door? And let's follow after his ass. Because I literally have no idea where else we can go. I've had enough of your jive, robot! Get down there! Where are we heading? Oh, there's some boxes over there. Oh, let's totally go to the boxes. There appears to be some sort of looking door in our way. But that's cool, I'm gonna just um, pick up these houses on the ground, just here, you know. Ugh, my superhuman child strength. Wait, this isn't even a house? In the last episode, they have houses. Now you make me look a fool. God damn it, game. We missing one? Oh, it's actually just a little last block. That's cool. I don't need the middle one. I'm sure I can robot across that gap. Because I don't seem to have another block anywhere. Unless there's one hidden. Oh, there it is. I found it. Okay. So it looks like we don't have the bridge no gap. They actually gave us a box to get across. Except I can't I can't jump that high. What the hell is this? There's a cage. Why do I need a cage? What is the sole purpose of this? You stay in here. I'm going to go pull it. What did I just say? Don't, don't hurt me. Look. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on a second. Yeah, I, I don't really care. I just had an epiphany and I didn't realize why I didn't think about this earlier. What well, happens I set this down here? And then I can jump on top, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I literally run around here for about five minutes trying to figure out what to do and it's as simple as jumping on a block. Oh! No, don't you take my block. Jesus, you know how long it took me to figure out how to get the blocks. Come back. Get back here. Oh, 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 this is why I need the cage. Shit. Okay, okay. Hey, trap, bitch. Where are you gonna go? You better drop that block on the floor. Oh, ho, ho. Ha, <laughs> ha, there we go. She out of there. She drew on a circle on the ground and she gone. Well, nothing's really been explained of what it actually said to me in the little description for where I come to play the game. So I'm a little curious to know what is actually happening at this point. Is my monster sick right now? Because uh, I thought this story was like me and my monster are going to be on some sort of adventure to get some sort of medicine to be able to cure him or something like that. But we have literally haven't even spoken to the monster. We've seen him though. We have seen him. We know he definitely exists. But what is going on with him we do not know. Oh there he is! Hey buddy! What is going on? This is a lovely little house. I thought you housed that place at the top, but obviously not. Hey, man. What's happening? What's up? Hey. Hey, bitch. Wake up. A fucking jetpack you're at. Holy shit. Alright, so obviously we're using his stomach to get through that window, but why? Alright, man. I'm just gonna use you for an object and not for who you are. Bounce. Flight. Yes, alright. I made it out. Why the hell did I make it out there? I just met my monster again. That's a lovely little drawing on top of his little house he's got. Is this rope? So I can get back in? No? What the 
fuck is it? There? Oh, yeah, yeah. What? No, I don't even know. We we're floating for a second, as so who the hell knows? Ah, oh, I opened up the door for him. Why am I so magical? Look at the way I just sort of bend that concrete. Isn't that wonderful? Can we play ball? Yeah, maybe he's hungry. Hey, Matt, eat this. I chucked at your crotch so you can eat up. Yeah, that's right. You come this way. Oh, shit. He's like a pet. Um, come stand on this square thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it, man. All right, now we're off on the adventure. Do I need to hold on to this fruit so he keeps following him? You know what? You can have that one. You eat up, I'll grab a new one. It's fine. I got this shit, man. I'm sorry I'm running away with your fruit monster, but the ga this is what the game... Look, I put it on here, and then when you leave, the fruit will come flying at your face. Well, it almost worked. It almost worked. Moving the houses again. Does anybody live in these houses? I feel like we could be ruining their lives <laughs> if they are in these houses. Or is this like our own magical little world that we seem to have entered? Loads of fruit! Do I need to compile it all together to entice the monster to want to come across the ravine? I mean, it's not quite a ravine, but there's definitely water in between him and me. I got loads of fruit over this side, do you want to come join me? Can you come across? He can come across! Awesome! Man, look at all this fruit we got to eat over this side. Yeah! That's right, you eat up. You take this one out of my hand. It's, it's raining, man. I'm gonna, let me stand underneath you. It's fucking raining, man. I'm gonna get wet. Tasty? Oh, good? You wanna go to sleep now? Man, where are you gonna go to sleep, though? Your bed's, like, back the other way. I mean, that's where you're sleeping earlier. Let me walk underneath you. Protect me from the rain. Can I not ride you on your back? Why have I got to run around? Oh, is he gonna destroy this stuff? It's like you're home away from home. Awesome. Now I can use your stomach to jump on. I'm bouncy. I'm so glad he doesn't mind it. I like to jump off his stomach and use it like a trampoline. Maybe this is a game we play. I gotta get a fruit hair. I gotta wake his ass up. What's this? Oh, square? Oh, I can climb a tree. Amazing. More fruit up here. Oh my goodness, there's loads of fruit up here. I only made two drop. It looked like about ten drop. Oh, hello. Clouks. Make it old's turn and twisting up nicely. Uh, wonderful. It's like our own little trap dory thingy to the bob spinny library. I was wondering how we were gonna get you to the side. I thought you gotta like burst through the house and start destroying everything or something like that. And I need one to wake him up because the motherfucker loves to eat. And I need one to put on the square. Although it looks like I just just one for everything. Alright, get over there, man. You go eat that. Let's see what happens once you stand on it. Lowers everything down. Oh, there's a ladder! Amazing. Hold up! Nope, don't, don't go. I s don't go anywhere, but it, it, nothing changed. It's fine. I thought I had to get you on here so you float back up. Oh, what's up, Gero? What are you be doing? Uh, bring monster into the circle. Quin Quinco? Quico? Into the circle? What are you gonna do to my monster? Why is she putting up defenses? What's gonna happen? Don't be hurting my monster now, look. Oh, I got some more fruit up here. Wait here. Wait, wait. Just stay here. Do not go to sleep. You got two fruits down there. Something to eat. I'm just going to get you up to my level. And then we're going to make you stand in the circle. Because that is what the lady requested. Hey, yo, yo. Look, more fruit. Fruity goodness. You're going to eat this up. Please don't let anything bad. Uh, no! I didn't know this was going to happen, monster. She didn't tell me. I've been tricked. Following the cord. Alright, all right, you, you go do something. Oh, some scissors over there. Awesome. Oh, awesome. <laughs> we lift up the house so we can get under it. Is there, a, there is a ladder. Cool. Now I need to free my monster. I don't know why I got him trapped in the first place. Um, I guess you need to lower that down. <laughs> and then, obviously, you need to pick it back up again. Alright, let's cut it. With the giant scissors. Snip. Here we go, monster. Should have freed you. I know that girl wanted me to get you in the circle anyway. She's not like she did anything to try to capture you, so we all cool. He wants more fruit. Damn it, do not go back to sleep, man. Whoa, be careful where you stand there, man. You don't know, you could get trapped again. I'm happy that you found yourself some fruit for once and I didn't have to chuck it out, you sleeping ass. Alright, let me turn this. Hopefully stuff is gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Oh, we released the frogs. Which, in turn, opened up the fence. Amazing. You ready to go? Ooh, what's that noise? What is it, boy? What'd you smell? Is something happening? Oh, 
Does he like frogs? Is he gonna go play with them and try and eat them? Just don't destroy too much, man. What's gonna happen? I, I worry for these frogs. Maybe we gotta hunt them all down. Frog hunting. Sounds pretty terrific if you ask me. Well, I'm glad you're having fun, Papo, or Yo, or even if you're any names. I mean, we're just calling you Monster at this point, so who the hell knows? But anyway, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. So, it's been fun, I've solved a lot of puzzles, but I think I will come back to this. It seems like quite the interesting game, and I want to see what the outcome is gonna be. Obviously, like, the reason to play any game is to find out what happens at the end. So, for now... I'm gonna end this episode, so thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and that you'll come back and join me for another exciting episode of Pop, Po and Joe, when it looks like we're gonna do ourselves some frog hunting, and he is either gonna eat them all, or he's gonna have a whale of a time playing with them. But whatever, the whatever it will be, I'm sure we'll have some fun. <laughs> Peace out. Hey, hey, no, come back. Shit, man, you can't just leave me to float out here by myself. I can't fly like you guys. Come, come. Yes, yes, that's right. <gasps> Is there another person? Oh, cool. I'm gonna go catch him up. Wait, piece of shit, your tag's bigger than mine. Hey, what's up? <laughs>